and it's my job to trespass on it. So, I mean, you know. Oh, they got, <laughs> they got cables and signs up now. Of course, it wasn't just me that was trespassing, it was other people. And then all those tires, remember this is the one where there was a load of tires. But yeah, that's one where all the tires are in the middle and I threw a bunch of them out of the way. I mean, I don't blame them. It's their job to try to safeguard their property from people trespassing on it and it's my job to trespass on it so I mean you know we're both just doing what we're meant to do right 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 is this 36 oh I must have been on this road before this is 36 Definitely hadn't been over here. I really like, I really like these rides. Like no phone on, just taking directions, taking roads, just trying to remember to keep an eye on the gas or the mileage rather. And then as long as I don't go over certain, you know, like get to 70 miles now, 70 miles, I need to, I need to start looking for some gas. Not that I'm probably going to ride that far today. Dead end, Ponderosa. How far down to a dead end? It's a long road for a dead end. But it'd probably be pretty cool to live at the end until bags like me come and turn around. But yeah, you definitely gotta have a gate in that situation, right? I lived on one street like that in my life. I wasn't at the end end, but I was like second or third at the end. And it was, anytime you saw a car come down there, there wasn't one of the, you're like, what the f are you doing here, buddy? You didn't see the signs? You missed it. I had a pheasant, pheasant running across the road. It duck, ducked off into the wood line. This is a cul-de-sac too. I've never seen a cul-de-sac with the tree in the middle. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, there it is. Look. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I don't even see them. What are they, turkeys? I didn't even see these other two. What are they? They look like turkeys. They don't sound like turkeys. They got a little get giblet. That's crazy. They obviously live right there. They need to put up a giblet crossing sign. A little sign. Giblet crossing. Oh yeah, he's going back home. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Going to the house, boys. Oh, there's three of them right there. There's a bunch of them. Oh, he chased them. Get away from my grubs. Get away from my grubs, buds. So that's Shady Brook. This must be 36 up here. Oh, it is. This is TJ's. Oh, shit. That's why Shady Brook sounds familiar, because I've passed that way before. You know, I think I inadvertently am touching the brake pedal when I'm doing wheelies. And I think it's bringing me down quicker than I other what quicker than I otherwise might come down. Maybe it's subconscious instincts, because so I don't go too high and loop. But I, I'm definitely doing it involuntarily. Maybe it's just the way my maybe it's just the position of my feet, how they naturally position themselves when I'm in a wheelie stance. Maybe it's just my poor posturing on the bike. I don't know. But I noticed the past couple days, I've noticed incidents. It's like oh, I've realized that like I'm. When I do come down from a wheat lead that I'm slowing dramatically and I'm like, why am I slowing down? So, oh, my foot's on the rear brake. That's why. Is that why I came down? I don't know. Is that why I came down sooner? Possibly. Or did my foot just fall that way once we hit the ground? Did I then immediately slam forward? Because that's the other thing. Since it's a little bit of a less controlled wheelie with me, you know, I'm not clutch pop and I'm not doing clutch play when I'm in the air I'm just kind of doing a power wheelie and just kind of 
you know, when the power runs out, it sets down. Those set downs are kind of hard. I don't know if you can control them a little bit. Maybe that's where clutch play comes in. I don't know. I need to go take a wheelie practice course on bikes that aren't mine. <laughs> uh, what's this? What's this dirt road? I might ask. Sarsaparilla, sassafras. I apologize. Didn't say dead end. It must be a through road. Great road. Freaking rib cage. Uh, a hip socket. Don't know. Don't know. Oh, probably the leg bones, I guess. Oh, there's more. There's the spine. And more ribs. That's gotta be an animal trail. I'm like, oh, it looks like a bike trail. That's definitely just a deer trail. I'll see if I can get the bike out of here. I'm gonna have to drive over these bones. Uh, drive over the bones. Maybe not. A little bit. Oh, I didn't even see the other part of the spine. Spine everywhere. Three spines. That's gotta be more than one deer. Just went down just now, hit a stump, hit a hidden stump that I didn't see with my front tire. Deflected me to the left. Really need some. I really needed some two-wheel therapy. Real bad, terrible. And uh, maybe y'all did too. Hopefully, you enjoyed yourself. Overheating. Sorry about the visor being open and the increased wind noise, but I'm dying. I hadn't been on this road since they redid it, and I got to say, I'm not that impressed. Doesn't seem like they did that much. It seemed like they only worked to about here. Didn't do the rest of it. I almost wonder if it was just the orchard people who did it. And not the county. And that's why it's only done to where their orchard's in. 
But anyway, I digress, and uh, I appreciate y'all coming along for the journey. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Had a good time you did, maybe. Maybe give her a thumbs up. Oh, they put some big gravel on here. They are buttholes. But yeah, give the old thumbs up. The old how, how you doing? That'd be awesome. And uh, go ahead and subscribe, and you'll see when I post new videos, because I do it pretty often. All right, thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Toodaloo!